Welcome to PaxX TV, your destination for passenger experience news. Hey, come on up, come up, come up with me. We're going up. For this episode, we've done something just a little bit different. We descended upon the beautiful and progressive city of Portland, Oregon, here in the United States. That's where the Airline Passenger Experience Association held its annual conference and exhibition. Now our crack team of journalists spread out across the show floor to bring you all the latest news about what's happening in the aircraft cabin. When our correspondent Seth Miller wasn't banging out those stories and making those headlines, he was personally testing Astronics news low drag radome and ultra lightweight composite adapter plate. It's going to facilitate in-flight Wi-Fi by the way. Um, he was interviewing in-flight connectivity and entertainment executives for this episode of PaxX TV. First stop, Lumexis, an IFE provider that has launched new second screen technology aimed at improving the passenger experience. So this is our FTTS second screen. Uh, it's a wireless system that works with passengers, tablets and smartphones. It uses browser technology so there's no need to pre-download an app. Essentially the passenger can do anything on the second screen that they can do on the primary screen apart from watching movies and TV content. So they have the live map, uh, they can play games, uh, they can control the primary screen from the PED, they can order food and drinks, the crew will receive the order, can bring it to the seat. Uh, duty-free and some informational pages. So as I said, everything they can do on the main screen apart from video and um, you know, gives a lot of flexibility and, and another type of experience for the passenger. Panasonic Avionics also had a big announcement at the show. It has teamed with Singapore Airlines on a new companion app that's going to travel with you through every touch point of the passenger experience all the way till you get on home. Tell me a little bit about what we're doing with that, extending the travel experience off the aircraft. So the idea of seamless travel, that's uh, kind of a nirvana for the airlines, for IATA as, a, as an association. So the idea of being able to pre-plan your flight, being able to have uh, an application like this change states based on whether you're at home, in the public space at an airport, the private space at an airport, or on board an aircraft and on the Wi-Fi network here, as well as your destination. So it provides you a seamless travel companion. So the, the and Singapore Airlines has, has uh, happily selected to be the launch customer so you'll be able to pre-plan uh, preview content make a, a playlist selection select services from your application at home get onto the aircraft synchronize with the seat and then launch that playlist from the device on the on the aircraft and be able to control the IFE experience from there as well. I wonder if they'll integrate a retail component into this app. It's certainly nice to see in-flight entertainment providers thinking outside of the metal tube to improve the passenger experience. What else did Seth learn at the show? We'll find out after this brief message from our sponsor GoGo. Searching for an IFE solution that delivers? GoGo Vision has the flexibility to offer a variety of content, including titles from your own content service provider stream directly to the devices flyers love. And with an in-flight experience that's tailored to the unique needs of your airline, it's the ideal way to keep your customers entertained in flight. Get on board with the most widely deployed wireless IFE solution. GoGo, the catalyst for advancing aviation. It's pretty clear that the BYOD trend, or bring your own device, is here to stay, with passengers often bringing multiple devices on board. Now, those passengers also would like to stream fresh out of the theater content to their devices, but Hollywood has been pretty reluctant to do that due to piracy concerns. The big six studios, Disney, Sony, Fox, Warner Brothers, Paramount, and NBC Universals have all stood pretty firm on this point. That's why when defense contractor and IFE newcomer BAE Systems announced that it had reached an agreement with a major Hollywood studio to stream early window content to passengers' own devices, well, it was a big deal, and Seth made a beeline for their stand to find out more. How'd you guys pull it off? Uh, a lot of hard work, for sure. We, we have a, a team focused on, on working with the studios, multiple iterations through our white papers, ensuring that the whole end-to-end -end process really met their needs. But BAE Systems' claim came under fire after the show, with all six of the big six Hollywood studios denying any involvement whatsoever. And BAE's own launch customer for its wireless IFE system, Vistara, a full-service carrier in India, claiming that it has no intent to bring Hollywood early window content to passengers' own devices. So it's a little unclear exactly what's going on. And of course, we await word from BAE on just what studio it has signed an agreement with. 
In other big streaming news, Netflix, Virgin America and satellite operator Viaset announced an agreement that is going to allow passengers on equipped aircraft to stream Netflix for free. Let's let Seth find out what's going on with the airline and Viaset. It's a fantastic opportunity, a great tie-up. Um, Netflix has a, a, great, uh, a great brand and, a, and uh, plenty of penetration in its, in its market and we see it as a fantastic tie-up. Now the Viaset product gives us the capability of actually streaming that product. It just gives another lever to pull on the, on the, uh, the guest experience. So uh, we're seeing fantastic feedback already around the, the, the tie-up. People are really appreciating the, uh, the, extra, the extra content and the extra ability to actually do their binge watching on board. So we're really excited about where this is going to go in the future. We're not, we're not planning for yesterday's internet. The internet's becoming entertainment. It's changing, and we're really banking on that in the next five to 10 years. That's what we're putting our money in. So Viasat 2, Viasat 3, we're looking at, you know, you know doubling and tripling our capacity, you know, via these, these satellites. And so for us, it's really important. It just tells us the momentum's in the right direction. We're making the right investments. While many satellite operators are clearly focused on powering in-flight connectivity with their satellites in orbit, London-based satellite operator Imarsat is taking a different approach, launching a hybrid terrestrial system in Europe. It believes it's better equipped to handle those high-density regions. Over to Seth to find out more. And it's interesting, you're obviously you are a satellite company, you've got SAT in the name, it's a long legacy of that, and yet here you are now building out a ground network or partnering to build out this ground network. Is that a, a big shift for you? Yeah, it is a big shift. We, uh, you know, it doesn't pay in technology to, to not keep your eyes open to the market. Mm -hmm. And as you know, you know companies that have done that uh, have done so at their peril. So we looked hard at the aviation space. We looked at hard at the, the undeniable appeal of connectivity to passengers on board now, the prevalence of smartphones, tablets, laptops, et cetera. That's what's changed. And so when you look at that and you look at the flight density and the traffic density that arises out of that, 200 people on an airplane, 100 takeoffs per hour at a busy airport, you know, this, is, this all adds up to a very significant requirement. Lufthansa, as it turns out, is going to start equipping its short-haul fleet with MRSAT's satellite solution next year. But come 2017, Lufthansa has committed to trialing this hybrid terrestrial system just discussed. Thanks for joining us for this special episode of PaxX TV, filmed at the Apex Expo in Portland. Join us again next time for all the latest news on the passenger experience. It's a great day, I'm feeling good, oh, the possibility.